And here we are ending up a week with Dr. David Klein and looking forward to a weekend where I get to interview him again on Sunday on yet another channel. So doctor, what's on our agenda for today? Well, today we're going to talk about erectile dysfunction. Uh-oh, you hear so many commercials these days that are talking about testosterone and, hey, just call this 800 number nationwide and we know exactly what to give you. We know exactly what's ailing you. How can they know each and every person? Well, I'm going to give you the short of it, pardon the metaphor. Okay, it works something like this. Okay, erectile dysfunction will affect about 50% of smokers by the time they hit the age of 40. It'll hit a great deal, a great large number of diabetics by the age of 50, and eventually most everybody is affected by this, men that is, women too I suppose secondarily, by the age of 60. Does this need to happen? The answer is no. You have to understand that much of what you're hearing in the news, much of what you're hearing in the commercials is absolute nonsense. First and foremost, what is erectile dysfunction? Well, it's a condition that results from one of several different causes whereby the hydraulics, the pieces of a man's physiology that allows him to have sexual intercourse becomes impaired. Well, what can cause this? One, it could be hormonal, very, very common, but it's not necessarily that number T that you need to know. No, it's a ratio between testosterone and estrogen. Your wife, your girlfriend, whomever, her estrogen decreases with age. Yours goes up. Okay, when estrogen levels in a man go up, other things go down. Okay, testosterone diminishes in men uh, almost linearly between the ages of 20 and 50 by about 1 to 2 percent per year. Does this need to happen? Absolutely not. And the mainstay of treating ED in my practice is to figure out what those hormonal levels are and then fix them. We can discuss how this is done in a moment. But what else can cause, can cause ED? One, Hormone, good, we've discussed it. Two, neurological damage. Well, how does this happen? Well, you can damage the nerves to the, to the perineum. You can damage the nerves that innervate this area surgically. Prostate's a good example of this. You go ahead and have prostate surgery done. It's all over Irene for most men. What else can do it? Bladder cancer, radiation therapy, and so on and so forth. But how else can you damage these nerves? How about diabetes? Diabetes damages all the non-myelinated, the, the long ones in particular, but it'll nail the ones in the viscera as well. Sometimes early in the course, you'll see GI issues, you'll see bladder issues, and when that happens, you will see urological issues as well. Third possibility, sometimes the most common and sometimes the easiest to deal with is medication side effect. The number of people that have hypertension out there is enormous. One of the common side effects of blood pressure treatment is erectile dysfunction. So what do you do? You start with the basics. You go ahead and get the hormone levels to find out what is wrong, what is right, start to mend it. You bring testosterone up, you can lower estrogen. It's a little tricky, but it's not that hard. And once you end up with the right ratio, lo and behold, you too can be more like Dr. Dave. What else do you have to do? Okay, you need to deal with the medications. Well, can you lower somebody's blood pressure without having to use a lot of the prescription items that cause ED? And the answer is absolutely. You can spend a lot of money and get puffer fish, uh, pu puffer fish protein, say that fast, okay? That will lower your blood pressure, but so will berberine. So will the natural diuretics. You can take natural calcium channel blockers that don't have these side effects. They will, in fact, lower blood pressure. High dose folic acid will lower blood, uh, blood pressure. This too will help treat the ED. What else? You start dealing with the diabetes. Berberine will treat both the blood pressure as well as the diabetes and start to bring life back into an otherwise dead sex life. All right, very good. So now that we've got that done, well, I want to go back and talk about something we talked about earlier, and that was the early onset of skin cancer down here in Florida versus being up in uh, Minnesota. Well, you know, you have to pick your poisons. Okay, up in Minnesota, they have a much higher incidence of MS. We have a much lower incidence of MS. We both have a high uh, prevalence of vitamin D deficiency. Well, let's figure this one out. The doc says you've got to go lie out in the sun to get your vitamin D, which is D3, by the way. But then we tell the same patients not to lie out in the sun because it'll cause wrinkles and skin cancer. Okay, well, we have a very, very intense sun uh, problem here. The closer you get to the equator, the more direct the sunlight is. And it's actually a, a, a matter of trigonometry as to how intense that sunlight is relative to your skin. Okay, believe it or not, you're at the equator, you're not a great deal closer to the sun. Okay, it just doesn't work that way. But the way the light hits 
determines how much or how many of these rays hit per square centimeter, and this is where the difficulty is. It's the same difficulty with where you get the skin cancers. Anything that's going to be perpendicular to the sunlight puts you at higher risk. Well, where do you suppose that is? The top of your head. So bald men like myself, guess what? Skin cancer's on the very top. Second place, the top of the ears. Third place is the nose, and that's the one that people find most disturbing and most disfiguring. And oddly enough, it starts decreasing from there, from the cheekbones, the forehead, and so on and so forth. You'll see it on the back and shoulders. Uh, you, can, you can see skin cancers under the nail beds, things like melanoma. And of course, that's almost a silent killer. Well, it is a silent killer, but, but there's something kind of cool about this. Oddly enough, and I'm going to sound repetitious in this, there's one, there's one agent, it's not a prescription, that actually has been demonstrated to prevent, get this, prevent uh, melanoma. And this stuff is called metformin. Okay, this stuff was used to be expensive, now they give it away for free at Publix and it will reduce your risk of melanoma. Oddly enough, it will reduce the risk of all cancers, and if you're so inclined to do a little research on it, you'll find over 2,200 articles published on the relationship between metformin use and cancer. That's cancer prevention, cancer survivability, remarkable stuff, and again, our brethren over at Publix give it away for free, so shop there because the place is good, a good grocery store as well. Amen to that. One other thing, we are running a commercial right here on the resource hour that has to do with, hey, you got Medicare, don't be out there just running out to every, uh, every kind of luncheon where somebody's going to offer you a supplement. Well, that, that, that's about right. You know, Medicare right now is the very best insurance anybody can get. Honestly, this stuff is wonderful. It used to be if you had Medicare, you had a hard time finding a doctor. Now they'll climb all over you. Why? Because Blue Cross Blue Shield typically pays 40%. Okay, that's less than one half of what a doc gets paid to see Medicare. So guess who's on the, on the short end of this one? It's the folks with, with Blue Cross, uh, Cigna, and Aetna. You have got the best. Okay, so then what happens? You get all these telephone calls. The hospitals right now are really into this one. And, what, and they're probably the worst of the bunch. You'll end up getting these phone calls offering you uh, oh, a no copay, a no monthly uh, a payment Medicare. Well, this is a good idea, okay? In your life, when was the last time you ever got something for nothing? Okay, you never get something for nothing. In this case, what you're doing is giving away control. You are giving away the best thing about Medicare, which is there's no ceiling to it, and you don't have to ask permission to go out and get uh, medications and or get a doctor. Guess what? So you go ahead and you do these Medicare Advantage plans. There is no advantage whatsoever in a Medicare Advantage plan. So the advice I give people is very, very simple. Get Medicare, red, white, and blue card, no strings attached type stuff, and then get a secondary. Okay, this covers the, the, uh, the copay to some extent, it covers your deductible to some extent. It's a co-insurance, and get it through any of the majors. Third thing is for the medications, and get it with any other company but the one giving you the secondary insurance. That way they fight with each other, you don't have to find yourself uh, with one telephone call too many and all of a sudden it's all tied into one policy and it's all over Irene for one full year, you'll be paying twice as much as anybody else to get the same medical care. And what I tell people to do is to, if they believe in reincarnation, okay, do you believe in reincarnation? Well, if you do, when you come back in your next life, listen to good advice and take it. This is the best ad advice anybody's going to give you. Hang up on these guys. Don't, don't, and under no circumstance when you get these phone calls do you use the word yes for anything because you will learn and live to regret it. Don't get the temptation. Don't go to the dinner. You don't really want that. You'll save a lot of money by eating at home and listening to Dr. David Klein. I want to thank you so much for supporting this show. We have a lot of fun on our weekend shows. I always say that uh, we have the most fun during the commercial breaks, but here on the Resource Hour, in the middle of our interviews, we don't break it up like that. But suffice to say, folks, whenever you get a chance to come to a day of wellness at stages of life, you need to take advantage of it. And Robin is the voice of our show in Orlando, and uh, just can't wait to hear her say what she's got to say about it. how do you get in touch with the stages of life. Well, we'd be happy to see you and hear from you. You can give us a call at 407-679-3337. You can visit us online at stagesoflife.net. And you can come see us at our office in Longwood at 1917 Booth Circle. That's right off of I-4 and 434, just one block east off of Raymond Avenue. And our office hours are Monday through Thursday from 8 to 5.
We look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much, Robin. Thank you, Doctor, very much. And we'll see you another day, another time.